Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is for singles who is coming towards me. So we'll look at who they may, may be, what their energy might be like, time frame, maybe certain time of year, um, where, when, how, what kind of connection this will be, advice clarified with tarot. So again, this is a new series, so I hope you enjoy this. And if you do, please do give me some feedback. And um, I thought this would be kind of fun. And I also have introduced a new series also on the channel called um, Messages from Your Spirit Guides, What You Need to Know from Spirit. So I hope you enjoy that also. So please look out for that. Okay, so please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me personal readings, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. And just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who've reached out for personal readings. Those have blessed me with an energy exchange as in tip donation to the channel. Very much appreciated. I do love all the support that you give the channel and it really means a lot uh, for helping the channel to grow, getting the messages out and being a part of that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio Singles for October. Who is coming towards you? So I hope everyone's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio Singles, who's coming towards Scorpio Singles? Let's get a couple of signs for you singles out there that are looking for love or want to know what kind of energy may be coming towards you. We have Aries, fire sign. You are a water sign. And then we have Venus, which is Libra Taurus. So we have actually three signs. So we have Aries. And Venus is Libra and Taurus, which is air and earth. Libra is air. Taurus is earth. Aries is fire. You are water. So now we have like all the elements there. Wow. Okay. So let's get an energy of this person that may be coming towards you that you may meet run into have a connection with out of the blue you know you could be not even looking for love and all of a sudden boom it hits you and you like unexpectedly meet somebody and you want to know what kind of connection it may be to we'll see what we get here what will be the energy of this person please spirit for scorpio singles october that one was sticking. Hmm. Well, we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight of awareness. So they might have some fear, uh, but I think they may be someone who likes to conquer their fears. Maybe they're not afraid to conquer their fears. And they're maybe aware of their weaknesses and um, things of that nature, and they're not afraid to work on their fears to, uh, and that sort of energy. I don't know, we'll see when we clarify with the tarot. Clarify, if this is not a positive reading, I'm going to be honest. So, um, I don't know, we'll clarify what tarot, we'll find out what that means. Okay, so, let's get a time frame. Like, possibly what time of year? Could you meet this person for the Scorpio singles in love? Who's coming towards them? I just want one card. Possible time frame, time of year. When could they meet this person, Spirit, please? Just one card. There we go. So I have ear energy um, here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So when we clarify what tarot will see, but it could be between uh, Libra season, which is coming up, which is the end of September to October. Gemini is the end of May into June and Aquarius is the end of July into February. So that's three time frames there. Though I'm not really sure... Um, I'm not really sure it because sometimes the tarot 
like one through three means it's like Libra and then four, five, six means it's Gemini. And I'm not really sure of that. So uh, I'll leave it open there and then we'll see what we get when we clarify uh, with the tarot. I'm not taking that as a possible sign you may meet. For some of you, it just may be, um, although we have two here, which could be uh, February, which would be Aquarius season because that's the end of January into February. So some of you could meet somebody during uh, the Aquarius season, which really isn't that far away. February, I'm getting February. All right, so let's see now what this deck is is where where could you possibly meet this person where could scorpio possibly meet this person where could they possibly meet this person justice hmm so this could be uh you know it could be maybe they're a cop because you see like this helmet here, like wearing protective gear, they could be a firefighter, they could be a police officer, they could be an EMT or something like that. Or you could be like going to the courthouse for something random or even like the town hall or um, seeking legal advice or something like of that nature. And you may not be like... Uh, caught up in court matters or anything like that, but you may have a need to go visit for advice or just to pick something up or go visit somebody and you may run into this person. So, or maybe you meet them through a friend who is like a lawyer, a cop, uh, a judge or something like that uh, kind of energy. So we'll clarify that again with tarot. All right, so. Let's see how, how, so where I'm getting, it could be a police station, it could be a courthouse, it could be uh, a fire station, it could be a town hall, it could be um, like a lawyer's office or something like that. So, well, let's see how, how, how could you meet this person? How, how, how could want one Scorpio meet this person how could Scorpio meet this person turn on the light hmm. <laughs> I hope you don't get stranded like on a mountain and then you have to be rescued <laughs> or you get stranded somewhere like hiking or in the woods or something like that or you're swimming or something here where you have to be rescued oh boy could be at nighttime because it says turn on the light. Maybe you get lost in the woods or something. <laughs> oh boy, Scorpio. I'm just getting this image of like this ledge. Um, I don't know if that's water or if it's like the desert. It kind of looks like water. So I hope nothing happens where you're somewhere in you have to like get rescued or something like that because, or you could be walking, you know, just be walking um, at dusk time along the beach or, you know, around rocky ledges or something like that. Um, but this says justice or they could just be um, somebody who, like I said, is in the justice system or a cop or a firefighter, EMT or, or something like that. But this is where. So the where would be actually at a, um, like I said, a lawyer's office or something like that, or a courthouse. Maybe you, uh, or even like a hospital. <laughs> Maybe you get hurt uh, somewhere, like hiking, walking on a ledge, or maybe you're with a friend something happens and then you have to go to the hospital and then you meet this person or maybe you got to call the rescue. I hope nobody gets hurt. I hope nothing bad happens here. But um, I don't know, something with uh, being outside near water, ledges, rocks, mountains, hikings, doing something here, which causes you to end up having to uh, go to the hospital or something with the justice department in some way shape or form 
and uh, that's how you meet this person. And it may be in February. February is winter, though. So unless you li live, like, in the warm part of the country, I don't think you're going to be out near the ocean or the water because it would just be too cold. Or you could be ice skating. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let's see. What kind of connection could this be for you, Scorpio? What kind of connection could this be for Scorpio? Children? Hmm. So we have children here. So it could be just like a very innocent childlike um, sort of connection. Like, you know, when two, like when two ch children like each other and they kind of tease each other and um, they kind of blush and, you know, that kind of energy. So it could be like a very innocent childlike connection. Or, you know, you could have children, they could have children, and that's how you meet also. Um, you know, maybe you're with your children out um, playing or hiking or near the water, near the ocean or something like that. Um, something happens, though, with the justice system there. So either, I don't know, we'll, we'll clarify, see what that's about. Because that's the where, so it has to be... Uh, like I said, police station, courthouse, lawyer's office. Could even be like a doctor's office um, or something like that. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's see. I see like a very playful, child-like, innocent quality about this connection. Hopefully it's not an immature connection. I'm not really getting that energy, but I don't know. We'll see. So what's the advice for you? What's the advice for Scorpio in this connection? So we have Our Lady of the Whispering Heart here. So I think, you know, and then we have two, which is soulmates coming together, two people coming together as one. I feel like you know, you're going to see this person you guys are just going to meet. It's going to be very uh, innocent, childlike, playful. And your hearts are just going to, like, pitter-patter for each other. Like, your heart's just going to, like, pound out of your chest <laughs> when you're with this person, when you're with each other. All right, so what else do we have for Scorpio? Our Lady with the Moon on her feet. So I just want to, because uh, this deck is a little different, I just want to read a little bit um, from the book. This is the Mother Mary deck. So it talks as if Mother Mary is talking to you. And she says, I want to be close to you, my cherished child, so I dwell within your heart from that sacred place. I speak to you daily. Can you feel my presence? I am the voice within that asserts you all as well. I am the feeling in your heart that tells you it's all right to trust no matter what appears to be. I am the knowing in your heart that every prayer you speak is heard and answered by me instantly. I am the joy and relief in your heart as you realize that your answered prayers are already unfolding in divine perfection. Listen for me and no peace within. So I think, you know, that's to tell you that all is well, that I think, um, you know, if you have fears and doubts about this connection, if it seems like it's just very childish or immature or it's just like too like playful and innocent, you know, you may question it. All right, so let's see what uh, Our Lady with the Moon at her feet. I have heard your heart prayers. I have heard you calling to me silently and suffering, wanting to let go and grow and finding that despite all your effort, still you must endure. It is as if you are sinking when you want to rise, falling when you want to fly. I come to you now with the moon at my feet and ask you to put your trust in me. I will help you outgrow that which no longer serves so that you may, so that what you struggle to attain now through effort and time will come naturally to you. Have faith. What you want is possible and I will help to get you there. So it's all about growth and expansion and believing in that. So I think there's probably going to be a lot of growth and expansion in this connection. Um, but to me, the moon, moon always symbolizes uh, maybe secrets, not knowing everything, not seeing everything clearly. 
uh, that sort of energy. Fine, we'll, we'll clarify everything here. So let's clarify everything with the tarot for you, Scorpio. This singles, this person coming into you. Who is this person coming into Scorpio? Let's clarify for Scorpio spirit, please. I think I just saw the Justice card again, so. All right, let's clarify denial for this person's energy. Why is denial here for Scorpio's person? Incoming love. The King of Wands. So, yeah, someone who's fiery in passion. Uh, they're not afraid to go after what they want. They're very determined. So I think this is somebody who uh, battles all their um, fears and that sort of energy. And, you know, the King of Wands is very aware. They go after what they want, a lot of passion, drive, and ambition. And they're not afraid. So they, this person may not even have any fears. Or if they do, they meet them head on. And they... Uh, they meet up with the challenge, a lot of fire, driving ambition. So King of Wands energy. And that's also your energy, because uh, that's fire, Leo Sagittarius. So, all right. So let's get one for, well, this is, I'm getting February. So we've got the King of Cups here, which is water energy. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So Pisces is uh, February into March. Right, so that's just clarifying February again. So definitely could be February here because Pisces is February into March. All right, so I'm definitely feeling March. So what's with the justice system? Like where you may meet this person? Where? Where? The nine of wands. So, you know, this is an energy of being defensive and having to defend yourself, but also being the wounded warrior, And but you keep fighting on. So hopefully you're not, you know, maybe some of you are involved in the justice system and you're involved with something where you have to defend yourself. And somehow this person is there, whether they're just in the courtroom or if they're just um, outside the courthouse or something like that because you see this man sitting outside so i mean you could even be just walking by sitting at a bench in front of the courthouse and that could be it too you could be sitting in front of you know in front of the courthouse on a bench just sitting there for no reason and that's how you meet this person they're walking by or um maybe coming out of the courthouse or you know or it could be a police station or something like that and, you know, you're just sitting there, you know, maybe you just went out for a walk and you're like, oh, I'm going to sit on this bench and you're just sitting, kind of sitting there, you know, maybe, you know, this is someone who's tired, but they keep going on. So maybe you've been, you know, out walking, jogging, you're tired. Oh, I'm just going to sit here, you know, in front, you see like a doorway there kind of looks, you know, sitting in front of the courthouse or where, ha where, have, where have you, police department, hospital, um, something, a lawyer's office or something like that. And then there they are. So that's a message now coming through. Uh, let's see. Or maybe you're, you could even be waiting for a taxi, waiting for a bus, uh, something like that. So for how. And then we have this energy here of um, being outside. I know maybe you live in the country for some of you or near like uh, mountains, a ledgy area or the water or something like that could be close by. Oh, oh my God. Justice again. Definitely here. Some. <laughs> wow. Justice twice. So definitely here. Either you could be just walking by or just sitting there and um, that's how you meet this person. All right, so again, you see like these two people like on the rocky ledge, you know, so if you've been out hiking or something like that and you're just like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. And that's how you meet this person. All right, so for children, for what kind of connection will this be? Why do we have children here for Scorpio? We have the King of Swords. So this is, you know, 
open, honest person kind of energy, uh, not afraid to say it like it is, not afraid to, you know, cut things no longer serving, not afraid to stand up for themselves, not afraid to, afraid to open their mouth. So it may be, you know, um, a very, you know, innocent, childlike, playful kind of connection, but it also, I think, will be a very open, honest, truthful um, connection, also with a lot of communication. So it's like honest, playful, immature, not immature, but just like kind of fun, but also truth, clarity, honest communication between the two, two of you. So let's see for Our Lady of the Whispering Heart. I just think that you're going to whisper to their heart. You're, they're going to whisper to your heart. You two are going to make each other's heart race. So what is this Our Lady of the Whispering Heart? What is this Lady of the Whispering Heart for Scorpio? So they've got passionate communication back and forth. You know, you could meet and then exchange numbers and now you're texting your friends on social media, um, private messaging each other, having very passionate communication back and forth. Wow. So what is the lady? So that that's your, it's kind of like your advice. So that's like um, telling you this may be a quick connection. Um, they feel it like in your heart space and then there's going to be you know, communication, passionate, exciting. Lady with the moon on her feet. So somebody may be mentally blocked in this connection, though, for a little bit here. Um, could be you or them. Not Maybe not totally sure about the connection. Because the moon, like I said, can represent not seeing things clearly or not knowing all the facts or um, not seeing things, be, being able to see things for what they are because in the moonlight you can't see everything clearly. So maybe you're not really, um, you know, there may be a lot of passion there and you both may feel it in your heart space how much you like each other. But maybe with the moon there, you're not really telling each other. So it causes a little bit of mental blockage between you two. All right. Is there anything else for Scorpio? All right. I didn't feel comfortable taking that. So anything else for Scorpio? Oh, it's way too many. Anything else for Scorpio? This one wanted to fly. The Hierophant. So this could lead to commitment here. This definitely could lead to commitment in the future. Or even marriage for you guys. Wow. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have death, which is your energy Scorpio in the world. So you both may have just ended some cycles here. And now you're ready to take on a new cycle in your life. Yep. Endings. Ten of Swords, going in a better direction. The Six of Swords. Yep. All right, uh, Scorpio. So I hope you like this. If you did, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings a month now, so don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you here, and I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of a fun, interesting reading, and I hope to see you next time. And uh, best of luck and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, always, always shine your light.